Welcome the amazing Kreskin. We're going to have someone joining us who we mentioned before. His name is Harrison Perkins. I was touring Canada last week after I saw you. And uh, before one of the concerts, uh, this gentleman interviewed me in, in considerable depth. Yeah. I went away from my, took a watch. I said, I want you to set it to, uh, by chance uh, and Jesse, because you're going to imitate what he did. By chance, I want you to set it to, to any time. And actually, Harrison, when you said it, you didn't decide on the time. It was just by chance. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. There was no one with you. I was at the other end of the room, my back to you and so forth. And I asked you yeah. when you finally decided, you, you decided to stop turning the dials and then look at the time. I asked you to write down whatever the time was. Do you have the note on which you wrote down the time? Yes, the, the note right here uh, in my hand. All right, I'm sitting next to Jesse Fries. Jesse, this is a watch given me by uh, Merv Griffin 39 years ago. When you feel an inclination, interrupt us and just say stop. Start turning the dials so you're moving the time ahead of time. Are you turning the dials? Yes. I'm not sure. I'm just waiting for him to say. Did you say stop? Did you just say stop? Stop. Jesse, yes. keep the watch in your hand. Um, tell us the time, but can you see the time you stopped at? Can you see clearly, yes or no? Yes, I can. Harrison, tell us the time that a week and two days ago you had decided upon. What is the time? Uh, from the card here, I have 11.15. <gasps> Jesse, what did you stop at? Oh, my God, 11.15. Would you open the lid on the box, sir? And... Uh, there is an envelope in it, am I correct, sir? Yes, there is. Small envelope, isn't it? Yep. What is it? What's it say inside? It says 11.15. Oh! I decided on this time two weeks ago today, I decided to attempt to project it. And Harrison, I want to thank you for your participation. You played an important role in something I've never done off stage in my career. There's one more thing, there's a postscript to this. Take that envelope, you got a pair of scissors here, and, and Jesse, would you say that I've never gone near that chest? Never gone near it, well, we've had it uh, at Julie. The envelope time. itself, would you cut the bottom of the envelope, just at the bottom of the envelope, maybe a, a, a sixteenth of an inch, so it's hardly cutting it. Read what I wrote as part of my statement in that envelope. What is it? Okay, this is handwritten. Sunday, January 27, 2019. My prediction with strong commitment is that next Sunday, February 3rd, 2019, the Super Bowl will be won by the New England Patriots. That's signed <laughs> Kreskin. <laughs> Interesting postscript. Well, I can't thank you enough because there is no one like Kreskin in the entire world. No one can do what he's done. And I can tell you and attest to that for years and years and years. He has never been wrong in his predictions. He's always right on target. And there is no one like Kreskin. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, <laughs> I can certify this entire episode. Let's leave this with fake news free. I am got to have this over I, here.